you guys, it's Therese and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my kind of like monthly writing diary vlog. I don't know how to title these things. Not a lot to talk about today in terms of like, actually there is quite a bit to talk about today. So let's just... So for March, it's been a little bit of an up and down. Sometimes I'll have bursts of inspiration, go on like huge writing sprints and get things done really quickly. And then this past week, I've been hit with a bit of a slump where I don't feel like I'm in the mood to really write, to edit or anything. And I think that's partly because I have other ideas for other stories that I need to write down first to kind of clear, I guess, the metaphorical drainage from my head and get that working but I don't really uh. so I think I've also the weather's also been kind of weird it's like sunny one week or one day then it's super rainy the next and cloudy and it's like trying to give us a storm Reno's trying really hard but it's not working like this morning it snowed a little bit and then it rained and it was sprinkling and Reno's just having a lot of performance issues in general kind of been struggling However, I have gotten some fresh new ideas for a different work in progress that I want to, like, I don't know if I'll actually, like, try to get that one published. I'll see. I have to run things over with another, with a friend of mine, the same one who had created characters, for her characters for the current work in progress for this one, because she does own some characters, and some of the thoughts and ideas are also hers. So, I'll have to see how that's going to go. And if that's something she'd like, again. If not, I think it's just something fun that I'm going to be sharing with, like, friends and myself. Something to cry over. And then I'll work on other works in progress that I have currently. Because I think I have two other works in progress that are, like, that have been started and have Pinterest boards made for. Yes, I do make Pinterest boards for my works in progress, but you know. But I think uh, today I do plan on going to a coffee shop and seeing if that will somehow clear the mental blockage of me like sitting at my desk when it's kind of dark and dreary and cold instead of the normal springtime fever where you're like super inspired and everything and want to get things done. And just kind of write, I guess, depending, or edit is the best way I could put it. Because I don't want to, I want to finish this chapter that, because I promised myself that I would write one chapter of the current work in progress that I have every week to edit that out and get that done and send it on its little merry way to all of my beta readers, my friends. And then, so I have been doing that, but like I said, it's been kind of a struggle because I haven't been in the mood to write. I wouldn't say it's a writer's block because I have a lot of ideas flowing. I just, I've been so unmotivated to put it down to paper and I can't figure out why. It's an odd time, really. However, I think that maybe like getting out of like my house for a couple hours and just writing will probably help me out because I think that's the biggest reason why I've been so clogged is because I've been writing at home and not really changing up the environment and with the weather being, pfft, it's also been kind of really shitty. However, I did notice one thing that I have been kind of not doing so great on for the second draft, if that makes sense. I have been struggling. Well, actually, I didn't think I was struggling as, as much as I am now. But now that I am almost nearing the end of the second draft, can we just talk about that? I'm almost done with my second draft. I have come to realize that I kind of struggled editing it I have a like, bunches of ideas that I need to do and somehow I I was dumb and never really wrote it down aside from that like specific page that I had and that was the whole point of me with the one note and like having descriptions and like what happened in this chapter and so on and so forth but yeah it, it's like these ideas for these drafts but I never wrote them down in one concise like in one area where I could like refer to it again and I think I might have to do that because I'm almost, I'm on chapter 27, 28. And on the last chapter, I realized that there was something that I should have been including throughout kind of the bigger, like overall in the story. Because I think that there are some things that like are important to the world building that I didn't include that should be like peppered in for more foreshadowing. And I didn't do that. And it's not bad, but it just made me feel really down on my writing because it started. To f it didn't feel like a second draft. It felt like an elevated first draft because I had to introduce new scenes, cut out scenes, and all these things, which is great. But then I got to this part where I realized that I didn't include 
this kind of big foreshadowing moment and sprinkled it throughout the rest of the books and I don't know how to keep track of that if that makes sense because I have really bad memory my memory is shit at least my short term. My long term does really well, but if I'm the type of person that would write something down and not think it's going to come back later or think that I'll remember it in the future, I won't, which is really terrible. So if you guys have any ideas on how you guys kind of keep track of everything that you want, that you put in your edits and see how that works out, I would really appreciate it because unfortunately, I am kind of stumped here and I would like my third draft to be not super solid because there is no solid draft I don't think until you get to like an actual editor to do it and like you have a whole team essentially helping you out but I want it to be in a place where everything feels solidified it's not like it it's like when you're trying to make jello but it's not at the jello form yet it's like in that weird in between where it's like jello on the outside but still kind of wet on the inside. I kind of want it to be there when I'm editing the, as I finish the third draft up. So I don't know how to do that. I think I might have to do it via bullet journal because I carry that sucker with me everywhere. And yeah, I think that's kind of the best way for me to do it. But on the bright side, I am nearly done with the second draft. I think I have, originally the first draft had 32 chapters. But I had to add an extra chapter because I split the chapter up into two. So I think now I have 33 and I'm on chapter 27. So we have six more chapters left, which means I should be done by the beginning of May, which is super exciting. I'm like as, much, as calm as I seem. I'm really excited to finish the second draft. I feel like it's another step. And I feel like kind of the plot and the characters are coming along really well and just kind of the overall roundness, I just have to remember how my edits. I don't, like I said, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I think I might have to go ahead and fully re-outline the entire thing again, if that makes sense. Like literally like sit there as I'm reading and write a, a physical reverse outline and be like, don't forget this and refer back to said outline. Maybe. But we'll have to see. Maybe I'll just put it like a, I'll make a spread in my bullet journal of like all the things to remember to put in there. But you never will know. You'll never know. But on the bright side, I think after I'm done with this draft, I'm going to take a break, come back again in June, and, and work on like other projects, work on some side projects. So I do want to develop this other story ideas, these other story ideas that I have. I just need to sit down and like literally develop them, work on like a rough outline, maybe even like a negative one draft if you know what I'm talking about, and see how that works. Also, since I do have a blog up, when I finish the second draft, would you guys like to see kind of my favorite lines slash passages from said novel? I'll be t it won't be like super spoilery, it won't ex really explain much about it, you'll just know kind of what you know now, which is that it involves dragons and the new queen, what are you doing? So. Would you guys like to? If so, tell me in the comments or find me in social media and say so so that way I can go ahead and make that kind of copy, make that blog post for you guys so you guys can enjoy and kind of build up on the suspense. And also, hi Nico, say hi to your camera. He doesn't, he likes posing but he hates cameras. Like if you don't get the shot right away, he's going to change and he gets so finicky, but it's fine. But yeah, that is it for my kind of like writing diary of March. If you guys have any suggestions to any of the problems that I had, can I hear everywhere? That'd be great and I'll be really appreciative of that. But until then, you'll find me on all my social media links. If you guys want to see more like writing focused content like these or comment below, I do try to upload these guys once a month. But if you want more, I'll go ahead and do them as well as check out my blog because I do have moments where I do talk about my writing more often in those said blog posts. So until my next video, which is um, hopefully on Wednesday, the first weird Wednesday since like December, I will talk to you guys kind of everywhere else. Bye.